Hey guys, welcome to my sixth AutoIt tutorial in coding. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a basic um, do and then until statement. So it does something until something, or like it adds a number until the number equals ten, kind of like that. And we're going to use a GUI to make it a lot easier. So um, we're going to make our GUI first. It doesn't have to be really big. It just, has, I mean, it just has to be odd, like. Here, I'll show you. It, right above there is fine. Actually, yeah, right there. Um, we're going to have a start button, of course. Put it around the bottom. Right here. And we're going to have two input boxes. One for um, how many reps you want to do, like repetitions. And one for how, like the delay between each. And we'll add a label. And and one more label, which is going to change. It's going to show us how many reps are done. How many reps done? So like right here. Okay. Export that script. Looper. All right, go ahead and open it up. All right, here it is. And we got to include these three files or five files. Include these files: GUI constants ex, Windows constants, edit constants, GUI edit, and constants. All right, let's go ahead and make sure our um, GUI is. Size? Nope. Just the labels. With. And make this less. Alright, everything's pretty much good. Alright, make it show. Um, one more thing. What was I going to do? Okay. Um, stop it, Angel. Okay, we have our GUI, and now we have our while statement, of course. And I've explained enough, I think, in my other videos. If you don't know what that is, check out my other tutorials. Um, but for our uh, button one function, so basically what happens when we click our start button, we're going to have our loop. But first, we're going to read um, what's inside the input boxes that... The user will put so we're gonna have read one equals GUI control read which reads that what's inside the variable input one and another one for the delay two equals GUI control read um, input two so it's gonna read what's in so inside those input boxes our rep number and our delay and store it in those variables and one more variable, which isn't on our GUI, it's just going to be a simple variable equals one. Now we're going to start a do statement. Do um this. It's going to GUI control set data. It's going to set the data of that label to show how many reps have been completed. So it's going to be the variable first, label three. We're going to change that its data, and then the data to be changed to how um, many reps done equal and then close this off and add that variable number Oops. which is so it's going to say what that equals and it's going to keep adding and then you're going to add it equals one plus one or er, equals the variable plus one so it keeps that stepping and then um, we're going to do that until um, variable i equals the value of our rep number that we chose, or the user chose, read 1. And then we're also going to add a delay, I forgot to add that. It's going to sleep that, that delay that has been chosen by the user, so read 2. And let's go ahead and test this out. Here it is. Um, let's do 10. Oh, wait. 
forgot one thing. It stops right before the number is chosen, so I'm going to do, um, plus one. Okay. Ten reps we're going to do. Um, delay, it could be just 400. And then let's start it. Well, we got a problem. What is it? Mmm, error parsing function. What's wrong with it? Oh, wow, why did I do that? I always do that. Okay, let's try it again. 10, 400 is our delay. Look at that. It's going to repeat it until it equals 10. Woo! Now, if we didn't add that plus 1, it will just stop at 9. So, I just do plus 1 so it stops at the number that we chose. I'll even make sure the delays work. We'll put it for 2, two seconds. Because it's in milliseconds. The delays um, are always in milliseconds, so it's... It's going to be 2,000. Look. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2. See, as you can see, it works. But we can't stop. Um, there's a whole other function behind how to stop the loop. But um, I'm not going to teach you that today. Yeah, this is all I'm going to teach you. So it's pretty cool if you have a giant, giant statement. That's gonna... Oh, crap. It's still doing it. I don't know why. So, um... There's a lot of useful things that you can do with this. Like my YouTube viewer has a do, or it has a for and next statement, which is like this, except it steps. It has two variables instead of one. Like instead of just this one, do only has one. For has two variables that like are, deal with. So I might teach you that later on, but this is the really basic one. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, sixth tutorial. I think it was on how to do do and until statements. Um, my seventh one should be coming out soon. I'm still thinking on what I should do for that one. But, um, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you like my tutorials. Check out my other vids, too. They're pretty sweet. Alright, see ya.